All right, all right, all right. We're having a beautiful fall day here in Calgary. And uh, I'm with my man, new Sean Dofigi, and our, uh, our new inside sales and service agent. Some of you may be uh, seeing or hearing more from new Shan in the, in the coming months. And we're just on our way to the listing that has sold and we've got possession coming up so we're closing it up it's time for uh, for this home to change hands and we gotta close it up and make sure the last of our stuff is out of there so the new owners uh, don't inherit it so as you come on just give us a thumbs up and let us know that you're here or uh, say hello give us any questions or anything but, uh, topic for today is change. New Shan and I were talking about change on the way here and looking at the trees and how uh, all the leaves are coming off the trees and it's changing season. How uh, change is inevitable and how nature knows it's time to change but sometimes we resist it. Like imagine, imagine if, uh, if the trees resisted resisted change you know and hung on to their leaves and and didn't go through the the natural process that's going on and i'm seeing it all the time with homeowners right now people that are wanting to buy and sell real estate they know they want to do a change because they've had life changes julie has joined us julie hello great to see you um i find that uh the resistance is it's taking so much more energy than the actual change. And it was reminding me of that video game Frogger. Did you ever play Frogger when you were a little kid? Give us a thumbs up if you played Frogger. Anybody that old here? Maybe I'm dating myself. And there's Frogger and oh, there's Frogger and you've got the, the joysticks and you're gonna go and you're gonna cross the road. And if you go and you cross the road and you wait for the car to, car to cross. And if I zoom right across, then I could go safely, but if I stop here in the middle, this is where I'm going to get splatted. So being in the middle is a very dangerous place to be. Being on the fence is a very uncomfortable place to be, even if it's uh, uh, a beautiful fence, especially if it's a barbed wire fence or a picket fence. So having that white picket fence is not uh, always that great. So yeah. The as people are going through the changes, you know, uh, it can be it can be kind of scary. It can be kind of stressful. You know, maybe you're um, maybe you're going through a separation, and it's not uh, it's been been tough. It's been a long time. We all have our habit. Or maybe you've got a new relationship coming on, and. Uh, you want to find a new place but you want to make sure it's the right place and you've got all kinds of stress and anxiety around it maybe you're downsizing because uh, the kids have moved out and the place is too big you know, why do you keep cleaning that giant place it's way too big for you you know it's time to move on my uh my wife wants a another place because the dining room's not big enough for it and and i'm uh, i'm resisting that that change myself so I can I can relate but uh, what's holding you back what are you fighting just gonna get the last last of the stuff here zoom it around what uh, anybody on there what uh, what changes are you resisting right now in your life do we have anybody on new shine uh, we have Julia on Julia on <coughs> So Nushan, you've actually uh, talked about change and some, some stress that you'd had around change. How did you uh, get through it? Well, um, you know, I used to be stuck with the old uh, stories that kept telling myself. The stories kept me stuck in the same place. And, uh, at, you know, at some point where I realized that, um, you know, I. I realized that I have a choice to, uh, you know, write my own story, to um, start a new chapter. And uh, here I am, you know, writing that story. Awesome. Great, uh, great advice. So if you're looking at uh, writing yourself a new chapter, a new story, 
Send me a text or call me, 403-827-8081. And uh, that's our message on change today. Thank you for joining Eric Mortimer Associates and uh, Eric and Nushan. Bye for now.